Hello there, I'm Serfancy and in this tutorial I will show you how to make timer in your game. Let me show you what it looks like. It's on top of the screen and if it reaches 55 it will also give you warning. Alright, let's get started. And what I will do is to create here some widget that will show us that current time or timer. So right click, user interface, widget blueprint and let's call it timer widget. And we will start by putting here a text. Let's center it on top and set position to 0, 0 and mainly size let's set as it was and we'll set size of our text to something much bigger so in font let's do around 60 and of course our justification is it yeah let's set justification to center I wasn't sure if it's not alignment blah 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 you, you got it sometimes naming is a bit a bit strange all right let's leave it in there and what we'll do is to bind it so create binding and we will set our text with few variables so let's put here variables one and two and both of them will be in triggers let's call it one milliseconds and the other one seconds now let's right click here and put it append so append function add here one more pin and take here our milliseconds get it and convert it to text so take it to text in trigger and make sure that the minimum integral digits is set to 2. Now you can up it again so it doesn't take too many space. Right, and milliseconds connect as C. Now take your seconds, get it, and do the same thing. Let's put here colon in between them and set it to our text. And you can put here same values just to demonstrate the text how it should look like. So you can organize it and make it look where you want it. So by default we will set our seconds to 16 and our milliseconds leave just like that. And now we of course have to set here some logic that will count with these things. So let's stay in event graph but we will close this function and create here timer. So let's right click and set timer by function name and you want to start it on event construct. Make sure that you enable looping and function name should be start timer. Now we of course have to create a function, so function right here and call it start timer. And always make sure that the names are exactly the same. Now with time, if you want to set it completely realistic, you should have here 0, 0, wow, 0, 0, 1, 1 thousandth of second. Because if you set it to 1, it will be just every 1 second, but we have here milliseconds. And 1 second has about 1000 milliseconds, if I come on trout, right, which I'm pretty sure I do. But we don't really have a need for that, so we'll set it to 0 0.1 and just adjust those numbers that it will be editing in. Because now, if you go into start timer, what you want to do, every time it will fire, you want to take your milliseconds and set it to plus, increment plus, which means it will add 1 to it. Now, let's put here a branch. And if you want to have it realistic, you would set it to 1000, but I don't want that. I will set it equal to 10. It's a bit of a cheating, but it should work as well because I set the timer that it will run 10, 10 times a second. So I know that this will reach 10. I want to add one to second. So let's copy this and connect it to my second. And also we'll have to reset our milliseconds. So take your milliseconds right here. Oh, I'm an idiot actually. We have to subtract it. My bet, set it to minus minus, decrement it. You want to take one from it, you don't want to add to it. So now you connect it in here and make sure that now when it's equal to zero, not to ten, you want to subtract one from seconds. That was really a rookie mistake. Ignore that, please. <laughs> and in that case, you have to make sure that milliseconds default value is ten. And for seconds, it can be 60, it doesn't matter. And now when this will be true, you have to set milliseconds back to 10. Set milliseconds to 10. And we don't have to set the text in any way because it is already set in this function that it will be always set to our variables. All right, let's see if it works. We'll have to go into the person character and add it. So right click, create here event back in play. And what you want to do is to create widget that widget will be of course timer widget and you want to add it to viewport so add to viewport all right and looks like it works pretty well look at that we got our timing it's going down etc 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 i should have probably started it on 59 not on 60 i can fix that but 
Other than that, it works pretty well, I would say. Let's add here one more thing. We will add here some warning. So let's put here a text and that will work as you have only 50 seconds remaining or something like that. So let's call it, let's put here warning only 50 seconds. Make it bigger font to go. Let's do 50 and set color to red because red is dangerous. Yeah. And Ankara to center. And we of course don't want it to be shown all the time. So render opacity let's set to zero and let's create here a quick animation so add here animation call it warning anim and what it will do is to take your warning add here a track and set that opacity that we set to zero so render opacity click on this little key on zero we want it to be on zero on zero fifty Let's set it to one, leave it for one second, and here another keyframe. And now on 1.5, we want it to be zero again. So now it should blink in, stay for a bit, and then disappear. So now let's play that animation. So I will go in my function start timer and add here another branch. So take it from here, branch, and one second will be equal to 50. It will, it will play our animation. So take your warning anim, get it, play animation. Connect it, and that should be everything you need. All right, click on play. Blah, 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 we have to wait. And here you can see it's 50. It, there was a warning for a bit, it was a bit too short, so ignore that, but it was there. So that's about it. So that's about it. I hope that you learned something. If you want project files for this tutorial, they are on my Patreon. And huge thank you to everyone who is already supporting me there. It's really great. So that's about it. I hope that you learned it. I already said it. Anyway, that's it. Surfancy out.